Okay, so this is a Brazilian spinach. Huh? So very amazing vegetable, crops leafy vegetable. So very easily can grow and anywhere, especially we have to avoid the direct sun and uh, they are also uh, shade tolerant. So amazing in that sense that they grow very quickly, very quickly and from the stem cutting. Just you can see this is uh, about two weeks only. So whatever stem you will transplant, just within three to four weeks you can harvest. So it's very easy and any types of soil, uh, this soil I have used uh, several times in growing different types of vegetable, especially the Kong and, uh, and the radish. Huh? So finally I choose this Brazilian spinach, I collected some of the stems from somewhere and just planted here. So this side, you can see this section, this is today I will harvest the four times, four times. Huh? You can imagine it still is very amazing and it's still growing the very, uh, uh, what is called the very green, very shiny and very leafy. Huh? So it's very succulent as well. So that means... In before today, I have already harvested three times from the same stem. So today I will harvest the fourth. And this will be the first time. This is the first time also. And this is also the first time. So very easy, however, you can get the stems. Just uh, about five to six centimeters is enough. Four centimeters also okay. So you have to collect and you have to cut the stem and you can transplant any types of soil. And you have to remember that you have to harvest before flowering. Sometimes, so it is with little bit delay. So you can see it's a minor flowering is here. So this is the minor, minor flowering. So you have to remember that you should harvest before flowering. Because when they start flowering, they become fibrous. So and this is Brazilian spinach. It's still not familiar in Malaysia. But uh, it's very popular already, becoming popular. So one of my students already has uh, completed here her uh, uh, FYP final year project on that. So after that I was truly amazed to see the growth. Very quick, very succulent and almost we can say tasty as well. And the main thing is in urban agriculture, in, in any house, you can see this is the, uh, the I mean, rejected box. So is some of the products they uh, they bought from in our faculty. So I just collected. They throw out. They they thrown it out. So I just collected and uh, I fill up with the soil, the top soil, some of the garden soil, and also I mix with uh, some of the uh, the organic matter. But you know, this soil is already I have told exhausted several times. I have grown the uh, Kong Kong radish, eh? and finally I have uh, planted this. Brazilian spinach. So just now I want to show the harvesting and the stem cutting that you can choose the size and how to plant. So I will show now stepwise. So just see. Okay, so firstly I will harvest from that one. This is today I am harvesting the fourth time, eh? the fourth uh, uh, stress. Eh? You can say the fourth time cutting. Eh? So this again, this is about uh, 10 to 12 centimeter. So just firstly, I want to show how to harvest. After that, I will show the stem, how to prepare the stem and transplant. So during harvesting, you have to remember that whatever stem is uh, already uh, edible, so you can harvest all. No need to keep because the new branching is very quick. So as a store, three to the maximum four weeks, uh, three to four weeks you can start re-harvesting from here and very quick very quick so now I want to show you so just from two plants so almost huge already so I have harvested so now so, so this is one stem so if you want to prepare the cuttings for transplanting so you can remove the leaf from here you can use the scissor or CKS or whatever else, so like that. So then after that, just cut from here. Okay. So this four to five centimeters is enough. Then you have to just transplant into any types of soil. So I have already this is about uh, less than three weeks. Less than three weeks. So you can see already after after one week I can harvest. So very easy. Just then two centimeter you can dip into the soil. And by this way, you can transplant and grow.
very easy, very quick, very convenient, very succulent. Eh? And it's becoming uh, slowly, slowly becoming very popular in Malaysia. And hopefully, it will be most popular very soon because you need to do anything actually. So that's all about the Brazilian spinach. So you can grow in your home garden or urban agriculture. Very suitable for urban agriculture. So thank you everyone.